historic ceremony marking Spain's transition from dictatorship to democracy, King Juan Carlos has officially opened the new parliament, the first to be freely elected there for more than 40 years. From November last year until May the 26th of this year, I was absent from Edinburgh, where I have been working for the past 11 years. I spent most of this time traveling or teaching and doing research. I visited Germany for the first time, traveled to Holland for a video show, and spent a lot of time in the company of my family. On January the 23rd, we went to Oxford for the day and visited the Ashmolean Museum. I came across a painting in the collection of Western art which haunted me for several months and which led me to find out more about the Vanitas subject. The painting, probably by Tournier, of a 17th century woman holding a mirror which reflects her jewelry placed on a table in front of her, is entitled Allegory of Justice and Vanity. So what so Rosamond will get only about 25 jobs. Although there's bound to be some dissatisfaction expressed by both sides, both are bound to accept the TUC's decision. And as the railmen have got most of the jobs, and the busmen will be providing extensive feeder services for the metro, complaints aren't likely to be particularly bitter. Thank you, sir. I'll, I'll be with you shortly. Oh, we'll set, we'll, shall we set the camera to? He's over there. You can show it's far in I can't do it. Thank you very much, sir. And the main points of the news again. On day one of the strike by air traffic control assistance, there have been more flights than have been anticipated, and the majority of them have been departing on time. In the final test match of the Oval, the Australians have had a good day, with England losing seven wickets for 163 runs. And after 2,000 demonstrators staged their shop floor revolt today, the threatened strike at British Leyland's Longbridge plant has been called off. And that's the news so far this evening. Good evening. Still life did not emerge as a subject in its own right until the 16th century. Before that, it appeared in religious pictures and portraits as part of the setting. It is a northern rather than a southern art form, with its greatest currency in Flanders and Holland. After the Reformation, when religious painting diminished in the Protestant north, still life became a popular subject, the chief type being the Vanitas theme, a collection of objects chosen and arranged to remind the spectator of the transience and uncertainty of life. Hourglasses, skulls, mirrors, butterflies, flowers, candles and books speak an immediate and universal language, and the type was probably derived from the momentous Mori representations of St. Jerome, popular in Utrecht. A £1 million scheme has been announced to sponsor English cricket over the next five years. The money is being put up by an insurance company, and it will mean a £1,000 fee each time for players in home test matches. But there will be support too for overseas tours and county sites. A report by David Katz. Good evening. A million pounds is to be put into English cricket over the next five years by the Cornhill Insurance Company. It means test players will get £1,000 a game and there'll be more cash for tours and £130,000 a year for county and club cricket. The deal with the Test and County Cricket Board follows the signing of some of the world's top cricketers by Mr Kerry Packer to play in an unofficial test series. Our sports editor, John Parker, spoke to Cornhill's general manager, Mr Cecil Burrows, and to the chairman of the TCCB, Mr Doug Inso. First he asked Mr Burrows, why had Cornhill put up the money? Painting portrays the artist in a studio seated at a table on which are placed, among other objects, various emblems of transience, became very popular in the second half of the 17th century in Holland, particularly under the Calvinist influence of the University of Leyden. David Bailey, Peter Claes, and Gérard Doux were among painters who belonged to the school. Heavy rain in the West Country has brought harvesting to a standstill today. According to a spokesman for the National Farmers Union, the harvest there is at least a month behind normal. Two weeks ago, farmers around the country were looking forward to a record harvest, but widespread rain and strong winds have been flattening crops, making harvesting that much more difficult, as David Cass has been finding out in Bedfordshire. The self-portrait showing the painter creatively active attained widespread popularity in the 17th century. The artist is often represented seated in front of his easel, either working or pausing for a moment 
in order to face the onlooker. In a later development, the portrait turns into a genre scene in which the painter often disappears in the vastness of a studio crowded with objects. Often the painter turns his back to the viewer and the painting then loses its character of portraiture altogether. Hello, good afternoon. In uh, an emotional and unexpected speech in the House of Commons this morning, the Conservative MP, Mr John Cordell, announced that he is going to resign. He has been accused of conduct amounting to contempt of the House over his connections with John Polson, and it was thought that the Commons might vote to expel him next week. It looks as if index-linked taxation will be with us for the first time from next year, with personal allowances altering according to the cost of living. I've been talking about the change to a former financial secretary to the Treasury. Yasser Arafat, the chairman of the Palestinian Liberation Organization, is trying to mediate between Egypt and Libya after the battle on the border yesterday. More about what's behind all the friction between the two countries in a moment. In a portrait entitled Still Life Sanitas, instead of portraying only a transitory moment in his life, David Bailey presents us with his own completed works of art, among them, in a dominant position, his own self-portrait. This was his main innovation. He treats the image of the artist and the Vanitas emblems as objects, and as such his composition actually veils the presence of the artist and safeguards the still life which presents the painter instead of the other way around. The self-portrait in this case is the Vanitas subject. The idea of using the painter's image disguised as an emblem of transience incorporated in the Vanitas still life appeared in the first decades of the 17th century. But in these examples, the painter is presented as an image reflected in the shiny surface of a metal object or in a translucent sphere. France's main television news bulletin was interrupted last night because of an unusual late story. A group of demonstrators burst into the studio with a script. The bulletin had scarcely begun for millions of French viewers when about 50 demonstrators burst into the studio. They wanted the newsreader to read out their manifesto, which called for the Anglo-French Concord to be allowed landing rights in New York. 